Basically the treatment trains are a series of chambers. In this case, we've got four chambers, three of them being water quality treatment and the last chamber being uh, for biodiversity. It, it's a wetland, but also uh, undertakes further polishing of, of water flowing into it. This system is designed to capture that 40 mil event flows in. It can nearly all of it stay within the wetland or it takes many days for it to flow out of the wetland. And in that time, all the processes in the wetland have kicked in to reduce the nutrients and the herbicides and the pesticides. We actually had a, a, a 40 mil rainfall event in December um, and, and the inlet and outlet results were unbelievable. Then we reduced nitrogen by 85%, total nitrogen. Phosphorus was 60%. And then some of the really, the really bad herbicides, diuron, atrazine, hexazinone, that, they were reduced by about 60%. Oh, it's a terrific benefit to the reef. Not only the reef and the inshore reef, but also the freshwater ecosystems that it flows out of before it gets to the reef. So the results all around have been fantastic. We put a fish trap at the top of the, of the, the fishway and we're getting over a thousand fish a day migrate through particularly small bodied fish species such as empire gudgeons and midges, carp gudgeons, but also uh, important commercial species such as long finned eels. Personally, I'm, I'm a keen angler, love me fishing. So it was a good opportunity to um, do my little bit to try and help clean up the water quality going out to our reefs. So yeah, we put a 50% contribution in. Um, basically, water quality is one thing and we're also able to pump out and use the water on the farm, which um, this particular area of my farm, it's not under irrigation, so it's good for that. We've got a really good crop this year from it. I just sort of feel proud to be able to um, contribute to, to trying to help water quality. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good to be able to be involved and have the opportunity. It was a 50-50 co-contribution between the federal government and the landholder. So the landholder has got that extra water that he can now put back onto his cane farm and, re and reuse, as well as getting the added benefit of, of knowing that he's doing a, uh, some good opportunities for the, for the reef and being a good custodian of the local waterways.